What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd have a little look at the Nissan KS Aero. Um, I've already done the drift build on it. I'll go across and uh, we'll have a look at the upgrades in a second and the tune-up that I've got on it. The paint job is not mine. Uh, I've taken it off of obviously the designs that you can pick from. I'll link him down below and I'll also put a picture up right now. There you go. So if you like it, I mean I did. I love the white with the black and the green and the green wheels. I think it just really sets it off. Um, your choice, you don't have to have it. Obviously the body kit and the spoiler I've put on is my choice. You can change that, that's totally up to you. But we'll get straight on into this and I shall show you the upgrades that I've got on the car. So if we go into tuning and upgrades here, into the upgrade shop. Right, as for engine, I've kept it stock. We've gone for every upgrade in here that you can think of, even the turbo. This time we've gone full, full whack with the turbo. We've gone the race turbo. We're pushing 690 horsepower at the moment. I've also put all of the suspension upgrades and brake upgrades and put the full weight, weight reduction onto it. Same with the drivetrain, everything is upgraded. Uh, I think I went with an 18 inch wheel. I'll just quickly check that if we go over to here. Yeah, we went for the 18s. Uh, as for rear tyre size guys, we have gone for 265, 35, 18s. And then on the front, I think we kept them stock. Yeah, I've gone for the stock front tyre width on the front there. And as for the tyre compound we've gone for, we have gone for the sport tyre compound on this. Uh, it really didn't seem to have enough grip on the, on the street tyres. This is actually quite a fast car to drift. But like I say, if uh, you, you don't control that throttle right, she will just spin out. So you have got to be gentle with that throttle sometimes, alright? Obviously you can change the tune-up to suit you. Uh, I'm not going to go over the body kit that I've put on. You'll obviously work that out for yourself and your own design preferences. I haven't obviously touched anything in the conversion. So if we head on over to the tune in here, you can see what I've got. We've got the front tyre pressure at 27, the rear's at 27 as well. Gearing I've had a little bit of a play about with. Obviously you'll be able to see that for yourselves on yours. Alignment, we've had a little bit of a mess about in there, not too much. Obviously just copy these settings guys, I'm just going to quickly scroll through. So we've got the anti-roll bar, springs, rebound stiffness, aero, I haven't obviously touched, we can't do anything in here unless you put the different bumpers on, which if you do, you can have a little mess about if you want to change the settings at all. There's the balance, and there's the acceleration. Right, so that is what's worked for me. Like I said, you've got to be very, very careful with that throttle. Too much power and she will just spin out. It takes a couple of seconds to get used to, but you will get the hang of this build, and it is awesome. It's a real fast drifter, to be fair. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll catch you next time. Cause I'll bring you